and welcome to Storytime with Associate Superintendent Cortez. Today I am so excited to read Iwana Iguana. This is a story about a little boy who tries to convince his mom to let him have a pet iguana. Let's read to find out if he succeeds. Hola a todos y bienvenidos a la hora de, de cuento con la Superintendente Asociada Cortez. Hoy estoy tan emocionada de leer un, un cuento llamado Yo Quiero Una Iguana, que es un cuento sobre un niño que trata de convencer a su mamá de que lo deje tener una iguana como mascota. Leamos para saber si lo consigue. Dear Mom, I know you don't think I should have Mikey Gilligan's baby iguana when he moves, but here's why I should. If I don't take it, he goes to Stinky and Stinky's dog Lurch will eat it. You don't want that to happen, do you? Signed, your sensitive son, Alex. Dear Alex, I'm glad you're so compassionate, but I doubt that Stinky's mother will let Lurch get into the iguana's cage. Nice try though, love mom. Dear mom, did you know that iguanas are really quiet? And they're cute too. I think they are much cuter than hamsters. Love, your adorable son, Alex. Dear Alex, tarantulas are quiet too, but I wouldn't want one as a pet. By, by the way, that iguana of Mikey's is uglier than Godzilla. Just thought I'd mention it. Love, mom. Dear mom, you would never even have to see the iguana. I keep his cage in my room on the dresser next to my soccer trophies. Plus, he's so small, I bet you'll never even know he's there. Love and a zillion and one kisses, Alex. Dear Alex, iguanas can grow to be over six feet long. You won't have enough space in your whole room, much less on your dresser with or without your trophies. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, it takes 15 years for an iguana to get that big. Mikey told me. I'll be married by then and probably living in my own house. Love your smart and mature kid, Alex. Dear Alex, how are you going to get a girl to marry you when you own a six foot long reptile? Love your concerned mother. Dear mom, forget the girl. I need a new friend now. This iguana can be the brother I've always wanted. Love your lonely child, Alex. Dear Alex, you have a brother. Love mom. Dear mom, I know I have a brother, but he's just a baby. What fun is that? If I had an iguana, I could teach it tricks and things. Ethan doesn't do tricks. He just burps and poops. Love, grossed out Alex. Dear Alex, how do I know you're ready for a pet? Remember what happened when you took home the class fish? Love, mom. Dear mom, if I knew the fish was going to jump into the spaghetti sauce, I never would have taken the cover off the jar. Love your son who has learned his lesson. P.S. Iguanas don't like spaghetti. Dear Alex, let's say I let you have the iguana on a trial basis. What exactly would you do to take care of it? Love mom. Dear mom, I would feed him every day he eats lettuce, and I would make sure he had enough water, and I would clean his cage when it got messy. Love, responsible Alex. P.S. What is a trial basis? Dear Alex, a trial basis means dad and I see how well you take care of him for a week or two before we decide if you can have him forever. Remember, stinky and nurture waiting. Love, mom. P.S. If you clean his cage as well as you clean your room, you're in trouble. 
Dear Mom, I'll really, really, really try to clean my room and the iguana's cage. Also, listen to this. I'll pay for the lettuce with my allowance. I mean, how much can one baby iguana eat anyways? Love, Alex the Financial Wizard. Are you sure you want to do this, Alex? Yes, Mom. I want an iguana. Please. Dear Alex, look on your dresser. Love, Mom. Yes! Thank you, thank you. Thank you for listening and good night to everyone. Gracias por escuchar y buenas noches a todos.